this New Year's tutorial, we're going to start off with a face with little to no foundation and primed eyes, of course. Then taking any creamy black eyeliner, I'm just going to pop that onto my outer V. It doesn't have to be precise at all because we're going to be blending it out later. This is just so we'll have a nice dark outer V for New Year's. And that sounded silly. But anyway, taking a dense eyeshadow brush, go ahead and buff out that liner. Again, this does not have to be precise at all. In fact, I left mine pretty messy. This is just to pick up the dark eyeshadow we'll be placing there later. Then taking an electric blue on your finger, just pat that onto your lid. You can also go in with a detail brush and kind of get it more into the corner like I did. Then with a shadow brush and any dark color, I chose something with glitter in it. You don't have to, but this is just going to blend the blue into the black a little bit better. Then go back with a matte black and carefully blend that into your crease. Go ahead and take your time with this because this is the focal point of the look. So you want it to be as precise as possible. Then with a blending brush, go ahead and feather out the edges just so they're not too harsh. So, you could leave it like this, or go ahead and apply some glitter. This is Copper by e.l.f. Any sort of glitter will work. I just opted for a glitter liner because it's the easiest to apply in my opinion. So just focus that on the lid. And you can even do a couple coats. I use two coats. And if you have any stubborn glitter sprecks, Splex, specs, God, I can't talk. Just <laughs> scrub those out with that eyebrow tool thing, my bobber. Make sure it's dry, the glitter that is, before applying your liquid liner. I did mine off camera just to save time. And then going in with an angled liner, I'm going to use this to create a wing. I prefer using this over the other liner just because it gets the job done a little quicker. And I did my other wing off camera, just so you know. Then with your detail brush again in that blue color, I'm going to apply that to the lower lash line just to complete the look. You can also go in with that creamy liner again, and I'm going to focus that on the outer part of my waterline and make sure it's nice and dark too, since this is a nighttime look. So at this point, I decided to clean up the fallen glitter. Since I haven't done my foundation yet, it won't ruin anything. And then I decided to add some more glitter to the inner corners just to spice things up. And then I applied my mascara off camera, uh, except for this one. I just wanted to show you that I'm doing that thing where you go behind the lashes uh, to create the effect of false lashes if you're not into using them like I'm not. <laughs> I also did my lower lashes, of course. And after that point, you're basically ready to apply your foundation. So I'm using the Stila One Step Foundation. Just dotting that all over my face, like that. And then I'm going in with my e.l.f. stippling brush, and I'm just going to blend that out. Since we don't really want dots all over our face. <laughs> Make sure you get down on your neck too, especially if you'll be taking pictures. Then taking your concealer, apply that to your under eyes, around the nose, blemishes, you know the drill. Then going back with my finger, I'm just going to blend everything out. Taking this Maybelline uh, Mineral Blush in Original Rose, I'm just going to apply that to the apples of my cheeks with a normal blush brush. Then I'm going to apply some lip balm before moving on to my lip color. This is the e.l.f. Matte Lip Color in Coral. Since it's matte, I decided to use some balm underneath just so my lips don't look super dry. 
And sorry for the weird faces I make when putting on lip products. Then I'm going in with my MAC Dazzle Glass in Baby Sparks. Just since it has some glitter in it and this is a New Year's look, I wanted to have fun with it. So I'm going to apply that. I'm also going back with my finger and just blending it out a little bit so it's not so goopy. But after that, that's the finished look. So it's fairly simple, it's very affordable, um, you know, it's easier than using loose glitter. So there you have it. So you can get your little outfit all ready and have fun on New Year's everyone. Thanks for watching. Bye.